In this tutorial, I will show you how to install IntelliJ 2021.3.3 for Java FX18. You may have a JDK 18 installed and Java FX SDK and J modes. And then um, for Java FX and Builder, once you install it, it's going to be under your username. Then uh, it's under hidden folder, app data, local. It should be under same builder. So you can select same builder.exe later on. Okay. Let's download IntelliJ. download. At the moment we have 2021.3.3. Uh, I will download the EXE version. It may take about two minutes. Okay, welcome screen. Next. This is where you are going to install IntelliJ. Next. Install. Let me launch IntelliJ. Finish. Uh, I don't want to import anything. So here, let's try with uh, um, 2021.3.3 and new project. I'm installing IntelliJ for Java FX 18. So let me select uh, Project SDK, which is 18, and then Java FX. Uh, let me keep it as it is. Project SDK 18 as well. No dependencies. Finish. Okay, tips, let me just turn it off. Okay, let me just download. So JavaFX project comes with uh, um, a multiple files under Java with a package, um, two Java files, one FXML. Okay, it's indexing JDK 18, so wait for a while. Just let you know, make sure you are using 2021.3.3. Close it. The first one, I'm going to go to settings. And then languages and frameworks. Java FX. This is where you're going to point it out, your same builder should be on the C drive, users, and then your username. My name is Ken. And uh, it should be on the app data, which is hidden. So let's go here. OK, now you can see uh, hidden folders. OK, here, here you go, app data. Let's go to local, then uh, same builder. And then select same builder.exe. OK. OK, make sure you select your own username. OK. Apply. OK. So that's how you can set up the same builder for IntelliJ. Let's build the project. Run it. 
So we have a uh, hello world buttons and then welcome to Java FX application. Now let's open uh, FXML in SimBuilder. So let me quickly demonstrate how to use a SimBuilder. So here I will say um, Java FX. So this is the one uh, code. Okay, this um, button doesn't have a FX ID. That's uh, object name. And we have uh, own actions, uh, even handler, that's fine. Save it. You can return to IntelliJ. Then you can go to FXML. So we have a FX ID selected, create a field. So that you can check. This is a message once you click the button. So let me change to Java FX 18. Let's build. And uh, load it again. As you can see, I'm using JDK 18. Click. Now we have a new message called Java FX 18 application. This is actually using Maven build, so let's remove. Go to refactor, save delete. So that you don't have to do uh, modular programming. So go to library. We are not using uh, Maven. So let's remove it all. Java. Then let's go to um, program files. Java, where you install um, Java FX 18. So Java FX uh, SDK 18 library. OK. OK. This is what we are going to use. Apply. OK. When, so now you when you build the Java FX project, When you run it, uh, it says that Java FX runtime components are missing. So we need to do one more step. Go to Edit Configuration. Okay. You may need to create a new uh, configuration file if you don't have one. I already have it, so let's go to uh, Modify options, add VM options. We can point it out Java FX library here. Uh, module pass. Okay, let me go back here. Program files. Java, Java FX SDK 18, and then library. Get these Java files. We are going to use it. Paste it. We are going to use two additional modules in that uh, Java FX library directory. Java FX controls, then Java FX FXML. Apply, OK. Let's try again. It should work. OK, Java FX, hello world. OK, as it is, it works. 
this is how you can use uh, JavaFX with the latest in builder 2021.3.3. Thank you.